almost after 50 years we all back here again the last commanding officer of this battalion was the governor general of Australia Sir Michael Jeffrey were here before we got independence was the last commanding officer was very close to Grand Chief Sir, Sir Michael Samare just before independence this unit 50 years ago was directed by Sir Michael to carry a note and walk from Wilwet all the way from all the way to Patmosby. Second to ensure that we on Independence Day continue to maintain Papua New Guinea Defense Force, which we are very proud to serve today. So with those uh, few words, on behalf of the men and women of the Royal Pacific Islands Regiment, Second Royal Pacific Islands Regiment, and on behalf of the, the PNGDF and the people and the government of East Pacific, East Pacific Province, I want to warmly welcome you to Moin Barracks. I don't want to repeat what the Prime Minister, our Prime Minister said uh, during the, the Parliament sitting and again uh, during the dinner. But let me say this to re, 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 uh, affirm and reiterate what the Prime Minister has said. Our relationship is very, very strong and enduring, especially in defense. <coughs> it is much, much stronger. People to people links to training infrastructure support and all the other activities we have been conducting since independence until now. On behalf of the people and the government of Papua New Guinea, I say thank you. Now I would like to give an opportunity to our Prime Minister and, it, and also if Governor can probably say a few words before we invite uh, the Prime Minister of Australia. Uh, to say a few words for, uh, in marking this occasion. So. All right. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge Major General Boyna for your uh, words and especially invitation of ourselves into this wonderful uh, but historic uh, barracks. Uh, thank you, members of the 2nd Royal Pacific Regiment, for your continuous service to God, to the Crown, and to Papua New Guinea and to the people of this region, of the world where we live in. Uh, I will not speak much. Our special guests, ex-presidents, I am here all the time with you in every shape and form. Today is our special guest uh, day. We wanted to see you. He wanted to have a feel with you. He wanted to see what it is like up here in Moem. And so I would not take much time and I'd like to say uh, the governor will speak in conclusion to thank the Prime Minister for visiting us and I allow the Prime Minister of Australia, the Honorable Albanese, to address us on behalf of the people of Australia and the government of Australia. The Prime Minister, as you address our, our soldiers, may it be known to you and to all Australians, this was your post before September 16, 1975. This was your post before September 16, 1975. It is a strategic asset in a very strategic location here. It remains as a post that can be mutually used to secure our part of planet Earth. And with these words, I present to you the Second Royal Pacific Regiment.
Well, thank you so much, Prime Minister and Governor. Uh, Major General, thank you for welcoming us here and to the men and women of the 2nd Royal Pacific Island Regiment. I want to say that thank you for welcoming us uh, here, myself as, as the Australian Prime Minister and my delegation, uh, the Minister Pat Conroy and uh, Senator Nita Green who've travelled with me on this occasion along with our High Commissioner and other Australian representatives. Uh, we have earlier this morning uh, travelled from Port Moresby to, to Wewak in order firstly to pay our respects and to pay our tribute to Sir Michael Samare through uh, his family uh, here in, in Wewak. Uh, that was important because of the historic role uh, that we will commemorate in just a couple of years' time now, the 50th anniversary of the independence of Papua New Guinea. The discussions that we had yesterday, the great honour I had of addressing uh, your parliament and of also meeting with the fourth Australian uh, PNG uh, ministerial meeting that we have had uh, is an important one in reinforcing the fact that there is no more important relationship that we have uh, with each other than the Australia PNG relationship. Uh, we are not just neighbours, we are family. And here at this barracks, uh, this is further evidence of just how close those ties are. Uh, the fact that you had a peaceful and positive transition to independence is a great credit uh, to the people of Papua New Guinea and to uh, the leadership of Sir Michael uh, all those years ago. Uh, since then, of course, uh, we have seen Papua New Guinea continue to grow and thrive and I am very positive uh, that there is a great future here in PNG. But I'm positive and optimistic with a reason because uh, I've been here, I know the opportunity uh, that uh, there is here in PNG. But I'm also optimistic because I understand that the future of our two nations is so linked. That success for Papua New Guinea is success for Australia and vice versa. And that is one of the reasons why uh, we are talking about increased economic cooperation, increased educational and training opportunities uh, for people uh, from Papua New Guinea. We're talking as well about having a stronger security relationship into the future and concluding our security treaty upgrade uh, by the end of April and then myself and Prime Minister Marape being in a position uh, to sign up uh, by June. I know that uh, one of the things that that will do is to increase the interoperability between our two defence forces. It will be about including greater exchanges as well and helping each other and learning from each other. And this facility here is of course a magnificent one uh, that serves your nation so well. So I pay tribute to all of you who have made that decision to wear your country's uniform, your, your proud and sovereign country. Uh, in doing so, you make a decision to help the fellow residents of Papua New Guinea. And I know that your Prime Minister and your Governor is proud of each and every one of you for the decision that you have made. So I thank you. Uh, for what you do. I look forward to uh, a further strengthening of the relationship between our two countries uh, in the future. And I thank you for giving me the honour of having me here with you today. Uh, Prime Minister Marape, uh, General Goina, um, other dignitaries, uh, on your behalf, 
and on behalf of the people of ECP, let me thank Prime Minister Albanese for this historical visit. And let me also say that uh, I'm pleased we didn't build a new road and you were able to see the effects of climate change firsthand as you, as you drove in. And these are the things that affect not only us but all Pacific Island people. And I think it drives the point to home. So perhaps uh, your voice can be lent to that uh, of growing voices around the world uh, as to the plight of our island people. But more than that, I think the Pacific people are particularly proud that you've graced us with your presence. And for us, let me say, when I became governor in 2017, I think there were two Australians here. And one of them was a fine young Australian lieutenant. I think Lieutenant Molson was here. Uh, fast forward to today, I think we have maybe 40 Australian officers attached to this unit. And I think Papua New Guineans uh, and CPICs would be better served if we had more exchanges with other nationalities, particularly Australians. Because I think in 1975, when we attained independence, there were up to 5,000 Australians here. So we would be richer for the experience, and I think. Uh, the possibility of a, an upgraded security relationship between Australia and Papua New Guinea is particularly appealing because we house the second Pacific Islands Regiment in this province and we're particularly proud of this, uh, this regiment. They are a credit to our province and they have served exemplary well in, in many, uh, with distinction in, in the service outside of the province, particularly. I think up in the Highlands, uh, in the Solomon Islands and in, in Bougainville. So we're very proud to have them here. And we look forward to the security upgrades. We talk about economic prosperity and our desire, shared desire with the people of Australia for economic advancement and prosperity. We cannot secure that without security. And particularly our own law and order situation, I think, would force us to, to look to such relationships that enhance our security capability, not just militarily, but of course with policing. So with that, uh, I want to thank you for coming here to see for yourself firsthand how other Papua New Guineans live. And I hope the beauty of it all is not lost on you, Mr. Prime Minister. So with that, on behalf of the CPIC people, both East and West, unfortunately, Governor for West CPIC couldn't be here. He he is uh, attending to a death in his family. So on his behalf and on behalf of both peoples, we are indeed grateful and we are honoured by your visit. We hope that you will extend our thanks to the people of Australia when you return. Thank you very much, Mr. Prime Minister. <laughs> we now invite you to the beach for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Men and women of the second Pacific Islands. Thank you.